Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about creating rooms. All right, so let's get into it. So in order to create rooms, we're going to show three options. Option number one, you're going to go to the shape toolbox and then you're going to click on room and then you easily can create a room. See in here, when you click and drag, you're going to be able to see in here that that's going to be 15 by 18 or you can make it make it always like 13 by 15, depending on the on your room layout. See, this is room number one and you can put in here bedroom number one. That's option number one. Let's continue with that option. You go to the room and then you click anywhere and you drag. OK, so you click and drag and then you can see the dimensions in there. See, this is 14 by 14. This is 14 by 15. Let's make it like that way. We can put in here something else instead of a room. We can put a bedroom number two. See? bedroom number two if you want another room you can always go again to the shape toolbox you click in here and then you click anywhere and you drag see you click anywhere and you drag and you see the dimensions right there see for example this is going to be an um 14 by 10 room okay so we can put this is as a big office see office or the study there you go right so this is option number one anytime you want to draw a room you just go here and click and drag go here click and drag but that becomes actually an issue because what happens if you have in a in a house 20 rooms or you're drawing a town home so you're gonna have a lot of rooms so another option to create rooms is the following option number two i'm going to delete this let's delete delete there we go so another option is going to go go to drawing option number to go to drawing it says repeat last selection okay so at times this is tricky at times this is tricky but you just have to be patient and you just have to be very careful okay so if you go to repeat last selection now whenever you click room it will stay as room selected you don't have to go back and forth back and forth okay so uh, you, you, it's room is selected already so we click in here and we drag see this is 11 by 12 you don't have to go back and forth back and forth so again you click anywhere and you drag see you drag there we go and you click anywhere and you drag see okay so it's a matter of remember click and drag click and drag be careful on this because if you click anywhere it's not going to do anything see you're going to get confused for example in here if i click if i click if i click see it becomes messy if let's clean this up you're gonna do ctrl z ctrl z ctrl z and do ctrl z ctrl z okay so let's make another room just in case in here there we go see because it's always in the selection but what if you would like to select this room room number 11 and you would like to make another room or change the name so if you want to do that it's never gonna do that because it's locked. It's locked under room because you click in here, you clicked repeat last selection, right? So if you wanna do anything else, go here to the select button, okay? That's going to exit from room because if you hit escape, nothing happens, right? Escape, nothing happens. You go here, select that, and then you're gonna be all free to select anything. There we go right so that's another trick and then you can change the names bedroom study and everything else okay so now that's option number two let's go to drawing and uncheck repeat last selection and then now we're going to do the option number three which is what i usually do uh just go to the room option and this is unchecked by the way repeat last selection so go to the room and then click and drag one room okay and in there you can put it room number one now this is a, for me this is a very easy and quick way to make rooms okay once your room is created you click in here and then you do ctrl c 
and then click anywhere outside and do Control V. There we go. Now you can move this, move it to the side. Again, you can do a Control V, move it to below. You can do a Control V, move it to below. See, there we go. And now if you want to change the sizes, you want to change the size of this room, for example, okay? You can see the size of this room uh, by two options. See, if you, if you want to check the size of this room, just go, hover over, see, the room, and it's going to tell you this room is 12 by 14, this room is 12 by 14, this room is uh, 12 by 14. So, or option number two, you're going to be able to see on the top, no, bottom right corner, see, 12 by 14 right there. Okay, so you can, if you want to make this smaller, go here, see, when you go to this small dot right here, see, you, you, you can change the size. Click here and drag, you can make it smaller. Or click here and drag, you can make it smaller. There you go. So now that's another option to create the rooms. So once you dominate this, you're gonna be able to, we're gonna be able to go to the next steps, all right? Thanks so much for checking my channel and don't forget to like, hit the like button and subscribe, especially make any comments or any questions that you have. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.